9th of January in 1796. Dear beloved Cassandra, You scold me so much in the nice long letter which I have this moment received from you that I am almost afraid to tell you how my Irish friend and I behaved. Imagine to yourself everything most profligate and shocking in the way of dancing and sitting down together. I can expose myself, however, only once more, because he leaves the country soon after next Friday, on which day we are to have a dance at Ash after all. He's a very gentlemanlike, good-looking, pleasant young man, I assure you. But as to our having ever met, except at the three last balls, I cannot say much, for he is so excessively laughed at about me at Ash that he is ashamed of coming to Stamington and ran away when we called on Mrs. Lefroy a few days ago. Tom's aunt Mrs. Lefroy had been to visit but had not said anything about her nephew to me and I was too proud to make any inquiries. But on my father's afterwards asking where he was, I learned that he was gone back to London in his way to Ireland where he is called to the bar and means to practice. At length the day is come on which I am to flirt my last with Tom Lefroy, and when you receive this, it will be over. My tears flow as I write at the melancholy idea. There's a report that Tom is going to be married to a Litchfeld lass. John Leifert and his sister bring Edward home today. Dine with us, and we shall all go together to Ash. I shall be extremely impatient to hear from you again, that I may know how Eliza is and when you are to return. With best love, I am affectionately yours. J. Austin.